You're listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast, where our mission is to make you more money so you'll have less stress and more free time. It's all about mindset, attitude, and taking action. And your host, Wayne Weathersby, knows how to make that happen. He's negotiated and closed over $150 million in contracts while building businesses with proven success strategies that he wants to share with you. So if you're ready to make some real money, then let's get to it. Here's Coach Wayne. Hey, before we get the show started, I just want to say thanks to some of our sponsors. First of all, I'd like to thank Ohana Guitar Company. See, Ohana Guitar Company is a custom guitar shop with skillfully handcrafted guitars you've been looking for. Ohana features a full array of guitars from customization set by your unique standards or traditional designs and features that you already know and love. Ohana Guitar Company uses classic tone woods for everything from the body throughout the neck and fretboard. Telecaster Stratocaster styles are also available in addition to skillfully handmade small batch one-of-a-kind guitars. You can visit them at www.ohanaguitarcompany.com and connect with them on Twitter and Instagram at Ohana Guitar Co. We're looking forward to making Ohana a part of your guitar family and our podcast family for a long time. Welcome back. Today, how to streamline your daily schedule and increase your efficiency. I get asked all the time, how to streamline my schedule? How do I get more efficient? How do I get more done? Well, you usually feel like there's not enough hours in the day to accomplish everything you need to do. Sometimes it's just like a laundry list or the dishes. You'll just have to wait until later, right? But as hard as it is, we must do things we need to do. Otherwise, they don't get done. No one else is going to do them, and they ain't going to do themselves. We find ourselves having to do them when we truly don't have the time for them. And inevitably, something gets either put off or what you're doing doesn't get done well. This scenario applies to work, life in general, actually. When a project has a deadline, it's important to devote all of your undivided attention to it or it won't get completed. And if it does get completed, it won't be done well. Time management is critical in every aspect of every job, from planning to executing. So your schedule needs to be structured to support efficiency and productivity to reach your goal. If you felt like you need to change your daily schedule and get more done in a shorter amount of time, I'm going to give you a few tips here. So write them down. Number one, check your existing workflow and schedule and process. Remember, the world revolves around people, processes, and procedures. Ask yourself, are they efficient? Do certain things take too much time or space to complete? Are there things you can do to eliminate the steps or streamline your workflow? That's a great question. Accessing your current workflow is essential to improving and facilitating your productivity. Okay, so for example, do you need to complete a specific task in a particular order or time? It's a great question. If you don't need to do a certain activity in order you listed them, reorder them to streamline your work. Rank your processes. Number two, once you know your current workflow, you can rank them in terms of both the amount of time they take and the extent to which they need to be streamlined in your typical workflow. You want to use a scale of like one to five is what I do. Depending on how time consuming the process is and how much it changes your routine, if it takes less than five minutes, you can probably nix it for from the workflow completely. That way you'll get a steady flow. You don't want to multitask. Multitasking is also counterproductive. Number three, turn off your notifications. Notifications in apps can be great. Don't get me wrong. When you want to receive a notice for something important, 
You got to have them. But when you're working with flowing tasks, they become a distraction. Turn off your notifications and focus only on the task at hand so that you don't end up losing focus. The truth is the most notifications can wait, honestly. You can put news alerts and ESPN alerts and messages on hold until later. I promise they'll be there. Tackle the hard stuff first. That's number four. If you're trying to jam in as many tasks as you can, chances are you're not getting anything done. And if you are getting it done, it's not getting done well. It might even be the opposite. You're spending more time, more of your limited time on busy work that you don't need to be doing. To help yourself become more productive, focus on one task at a time and work on that until you complete it. If you find yourself multitasking, try focusing instead for a single 30-minute period. Give yourself a few-minute break and then get back to it. Trying to work on more than one task at a time can cause procrastination, which is a whole new level of anxiety. Spend time organizing your tasks in order of priority so that the most important projects have the first slot in your schedule. For instance, if you tend to procrastinate on tasks that involve creative work, such as writing, brainstorming, uh, generating ideas, you might find that setting aside 15 minutes a day to write helps you progress on what you're already doing. Number five, do your work near an excellent natural light source. A good light source not only helps you see better, but also helps you work better. This tip is handy, especially when you're working from home. Those who work from home can be dependent on artificial light. And that leads to eye strain, fatigue, depression. That's a whole new, that's a whole nother podcast. Work in a well-lit area and make sure that you take regular breaks away from your desk. Streamlining your schedule and increasing your efficiency will help you focus on what's important throughout the day. Try to limit the number of distractions you have around you. When making important decisions, ensure that you get enough sleep so your brain can function at its best so you can make the best decisions. And remember, you might not need to make a complete overhaul of your schedule. Many times you can make small changes to greatly improve the overall productivity. That's why it's so important to prioritize and have a schedule. Map out your week before you get there. People say that it's impossible. It's not impossible. Pick the most important things. Put them on your calendar. Say you have a group meeting. Put that on the calendar. Everybody knows what day, what time. And how long it's going to be. I do stand-up meetings. Right? 15 minute, 20 minute. This is what we're going to talk about. And get after it. And make them productive. No chit-chat. No small talk. Right to the point. And then end every meeting with something positive. An affirmation. With action. Saying something nice to somebody. Praising somebody and meaning it. All that good stuff. Hey, I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe, take care, sell a bunch, and get organized so you can be efficient, make more money, have more free time, and a lot less stress. See ya. You've been listening to the Productive Not Busy Podcast with Coach Wayne. Join us next time for more money-making strategies to help you have less stress and more free time. Follow us on Facebook at Productive Not Busy, on Instagram at Frontline.Coach.Wayne, and on Twitter at Wayne New Jr. And remember, be productive, not busy.